Have you ever found yourself wanting something you know you shouldn't want? Like, sometimes I feel like Smeagol, like just... I wonder when we watch a movie, why do we trip the villain? The mean spirit, the criminal, doing all the killing. Who was casually sabotaging the family? The one who was bombing, stabbing, and kidnapping the children. You know it's true, why do we do for the bad guy? We only really do it in a fictional film. Cause we don't like in real life, we despise who take lives. But in a fictional realm, I guess we make an exception. Maybe the director presents deception. And so the bad guy from a different perspective. And God is all warped and calling in a question. All good morals and all good ethics. And when the movie done, it all will exit. There's a paradox that all is left with. Like a out and Shakespeare. Here's old fellow. Fellow, 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 fellow. See, it's something about entertainment that, that makes you set aside your worldview and the root for the bad guy, even though it goes against your morals and your ethics. It's crazy, right? I heard about a movie when the woman was really in love. Head over heels, love like hand in a glove. She was only 24, he was only 25. When a guy caught her eye, they met in the club. Taking things real slow, still so. Good girl, good head on her shoulders. Plus, the dude really cared, it was really there for. Her. Can't ignore that it really did adore her. He came over, took a soul. She was feeling depressed, needed a shoulder. Now we trying to meet a need, but he weakened in the knees, cause she begging him to please come and hold her. Now they hugging in the need to kiss him. Pause, now you're in a weird position. I know it's just a movie, but what are you wishing? Do you feel conflicted? Do you feel conviction? See, sometimes you catch yourself in that moment cheering for immorality. Wanting the guy and the girl to hook up, even though it goes against Christian principles. All I'm saying is, guard your heart. There's no opponent that I will go against or even really any of my teammates that want to win more than my, my passion for the game and how much I want to win. Marshall's always been that way. <laughs> he wore his emotions on his sleeves as a six-year-old and he does it as a 22-year-old. You know, you're, you're just going to be average size. You know, you're not going to you're not going to wow anybody with with your huge body that you have. You know, he's just said, you gotta be different. You, you gotta play with, with more. <laughs> Tell how he's feeling. <laughs> 3.2 seconds. Henderson. Oh! oh my! From 35 feet. I don't even really remember it happening. <laughs> I just shot, ran, and then I remember, I remember kind of coming back too, and I was like, all right, Time to refocus, you know, we gotta go to overtime. We got a game to win here. I don't know if anyone's seen the Auburn clips. I mean, that was me. Uh, I just, that was my heart, just going out, you know, just going over there. Yeah, we're all Miss, take that. That You just came here for two and a half hours to yell and scream for no reason because you just lost the game. I can't repeat what they say on camera. <laughs> It's, it's a whole bunch of bad, bad stuff. You know, there's a bunch of fingers, there's a bunch of FUs. There was one guy, um, he was kind of right there in the middle and he was like, come on, come on. And, and you know, that guy, I like that guy. He was kind of in the middle. He, he looked like he was pretty passionate about what he was saying. You know what, they talked trash to him all night and he finished with the last lap. I was Do things how I do them, whether you like it or not, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not gonna change. It, it's unbelievable, really, that like how serious people take this stuff, and, and that's kind of why I do some of it a little bit too, because it's just, you just gotta have fun with it. I mean, that's really what it is. You know, it's a game. You have fun.